Okay, so what we're going to have a chat about now is twin engine and maneuvering a boat with twin engines. We're on a seven meter rib and we've got twin engines and the important thing about these engines are that they're outboards and therefore we've got what's called vector thrust. You don't have that on a larger motorboat. So on the larger motorboats, which have got a rudder and fixed propellers, we generally just leave the rudder in the midships position and do everything on the engines. Now we can do the same on a rib like this. We can in fact put the, uh, the engines in the midships position as you can see here but we don't, we don't actually get great steerage from the engines because they're so close together that's the problem we don't get much leverage on them so you can absolutely do it like that but if you want a greater greater rate of turn possibly because it's windy introduce some helm as well and then I don't know if you can see on the video but we actually get a far better rate of turn when we actually turn steering wheel and there we go now the trade-off is if you do need a lot of reverse it will decrease the rate of turn temporarily but as soon as you just ease up on that reverse engine we get a good significant rate of turn now one final thing is when you're splitting engines on a boat we try to be very careful and not increase the seesaw of despair and what we mean by that is a bit of power on the forward and a bit of power on the reverse and a bit more on the forward and a bit more in the reverse that's going to end up in a bit of crashy crashy so what we really want to be doing is set one ideally your forward one set it just above idle revs just above idle and then control the rest of the uh, turn just on the reverse engine on your stern engine and you can see you can pull yourself away from hazards or if the stern is getting too close just ease up on that engine and that is as easy as one two three 